Hi all. In this video, let's learn about skeleton components in React. What there are, what why they are important, and how to implement them. So, firstly, the skeleton component means uh, whenever the user sees any of the blank page or an infinity loading when he opens any of the application. So that makes him the loading time makes him some frustration. So whereas coming to the skeleton components, there are like placeholders. So where he, he will be seeing some elements, the user can see some elements before the actual content is loaded. So for example, it looks in this way. So the skeleton component for the skeleton components, this is an best example. So here you can see if you open any of the uh, YouTube website. So now here we are not showing any blank page before we get the, some data or we are not showing any of the loading symbols. We are showing the skeleton component. So this is what meant by the skeleton component. Here we'll be showing the placeholders uh, in sense um, in, with the help of rectangles and uh, circle symbols. So this is not an actual data. These are some placeholders. We'll be showing them before the real data comes into the picture. So this is about the skeleton component. Why it is important to use the skeleton component is, so having this type of skeleton component is considered to be a good user experience because it gives the user some information how the content is going to be displayed in the web page. So this is the first advantage and this is, there, this is not any real content. So these are just a placeholders. So this, it is not a real actual content, it only, serves as a mimic what the page is going to look about. So that makes more uh, user experience. So also you can use animated skeletons here. So like uh, you, uh, it would be like a wave from left to right. It would be like a wave, the skeleton components it's itself. And also the pulse animation also you can use so that user experience would be better. How to implement these skeleton components? So there are three ways to implement the skeleton components. They, they can be anything in any number of ways, but the best ways are like, if you are using material components in your uh, material component, material UI React components in your project. So then you can directly use a skeleton component. Okay, this will be, this skeleton component will be available in the material UI component. So this is, uh, these are the three types you can have. So the first thing is a text. So first thing is a text and the second one is a circle. You can define the width and height of the circle and the third one is a rectangle. So you can see uh, the animation, it is like blinking. So you can also provide the animation attributes. So animation can be in a wave. So if you see the second one, it would be going from the left to the right. It means it, it indicates that some data is loading, loading and uh, this skeleton components gives us that user experience. The data looks in this structure. It would look in this skeleton. So this is how you can also use a pulse animation, which looks in this way. So similar to what we have, okay. So also before the data comes, so you can show this component. So this is a skeleton component. While user clicks any of this, uh, enters into any of the web page. So we'll be showing this as a skeleton component. While we are doing any API call, we'll be getting we'll be calling an API call and we'll be getting the data. So meanwhile, instead of showing the loading symbol, if you show this type of skeleton components, then user will not get that much frustration. And this is like, he will be knowing what exactly the component or a page is going to look like. So this gives us uh, the mimic of how the web page is going to look. So once the data comes, this skeleton component goes and the real data component would be in this manner. So this is how we can use a skeleton component in order to mimic the, or in order to avoid the white pages uh, delays or a loading, infinity loading for more time. So this, this is the way we can use. So if you are using material component in your project, then you can use this skeleton, skeleton component directly straight away from the material component. What if, if you're not using material UI, material UI components in your uh, project, then you can go with the react loading skeleton so this is another package if you're not using uh, material ui components but if you only want the skeleton components simple rectangles simple square level of components then you can do like this you can use this dependency just you can install this dependency and this is a self explanatory you can straight away use this like skeleton and you can uh, have some of its properties which helps us 
for the animation like that. So if you have a content like this, so you can show your skeleton like this. So this helps a better user experience for the users. So this is a simple library, React Loading Skeleton Library, by which you can show only the rectangles and circles. What if, if you want to show the complex shapes? So then we have another library called react content loader so this is another library so where you this is svg based api so here you can play around whatever how you want the uh, skeleton component should be so you can configure here with all these options you can also select the background image not just the plain gray images like this you can also select the background image of the skeleton so you can play around these options and it will generate you this component so straight away, you can copy this component and you can use this component throughout your application. So in this way, and also it can provide the complex shapes, no, not just simple shapes as a React loading skeleton provides. This provides more uh, options for us. Not only in terms of code, you can also download these things in terms of SVG image because this is SVG uh, based API. So you can have two options to copy the code or you can copy the SVG. So usually while you are using this skeleton component, you can write a logic like this, like uh, if, if the component is loading, so you have uh, done an API call and you're waiting for the data, then you can show the skeleton component. So once the data comes, you can uh, hold, you can uh, disable the skeleton component and you can show this real component, avatar component. So this is how you can use this skeleton component. So it helps us uh, the user experience. It improves the user experience a lot. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.